Hello learners, Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. Today we're learning just the two of us, full tutorial. New ukulele every Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe. Printable tabs are becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes as All right, well. we are going to kick it off with the chords. If you feel like you already know your chords or you want to jump to a specific part of this tutorial, use the timestamps pinned in the first comment of the comment section or the description to jump to the part of the lesson that you want to learn. Chords, C major seven. Also, side note, we're teaching this in E minor. The original recording is in F minor, so if you want to play with the recording, capo on the first fret. C major 7, 0, 0, 0, 2. Just your index finger or your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. B7, bar the second fret and get your middle finger on the third fret of the C string. If you're not a bar chord person, you can actually play this like an E minor, just everything up a string, four, three, two, open. This is also a B7. We have an E minor, move everything down, fourth fret of the C string, third fret of the E, second of the A. You could also, if you want to, move your ring finger up, fret the fourth fret, and play four, four, three, two as well. It's another shape of an E minor. D minor, second, second, first fret with your index finger, D minor. Looks kind of like an F if it's new to you. Keep that index finger down and second fret of the C, second fret of the A, you have a G7, mirror image of a G. And we're also going to, if you're advanced, these are some advanced chords, we're going to add a passing chord with an E flat minor seven, which is three, three, two, one. It's the same as that advanced E minor shape down a fret. Again, use those timestamps pinned in the first comment so that way you can learn the part that's appropriate for your level that you wanna learn. Okay, let's talk about the verse progression. The progression is two beats of C minor major seven, two beats of B seven, two beats of E minor, one beat of D minor, one beat of G7. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then when I go from the G7 to the C major seven, I just use my ring finger that time around. The second time through, everything is the same except E minor will be for the whole measure. So you'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put that whole thing together and we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Those four measures happen two times and that is your verse. So let's take a look at a strum pattern. We're going to go down, 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 up. One, two, and a. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, so it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, boom. Over the D minor and G7, just downs. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, boom, okay? Let's go ahead and play through the progression. We get one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a. Let's go ahead and add some lyrics to this verse. Again, if you wanna just play that melody, feel free to use those timestamps. And if you're having fun, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It really does help the video and the channel as well. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind When I feel 
think of you sometime And I wanna spend some time with you And then we're into the chorus. So let's go ahead and learn that melody now. And if you just wanna jump to the chorus, feel free to use those timestamps. So first four measures are up. And this is over the C major seven. It starts on the and. It goes one and two and three and four and one. Third fret of the E string. We're gonna play that G note three times in a row. I hear, I see the crystal down to this F sharp over the B7, which is pretty cool. The F sharp is the seventh interval, and we don't always get to hear that seventh interval in a song. It's nice and it's jazzy. It's a really pretty note. I see the crystal raindrops fall. Back up to the third fret, open A, second fret. Lands right over that E minor. That's a quarter note. Then we're gonna go up to the third fret, three, five, up to the seventh fret, seven, five, down to the E string, seven, five. So that second measure is one, two, and three, and four, and one. Now these are all eighth notes, but you can add a little bit of swing to them and play 16th notes. I'll show you what I mean after we get through the next two measures. Back to the third fret. This is a 16th, it's three, three, two, two, oh, three, two, three, three, pull zero. And that's when this one comes over that second C7. Excuse me. And it's all. All is when the sun comes shining through. Three, three, two, two, oh, three, two, three, three, pull zero. Through. That through is what's called a slur. So it's one word, but two notes. Through, through. So these four measures together, one, and. <clears throat> these four measures together, I'll say one, and let's com come in on the and. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. E, two, and three, and four, doo doo. Okay, next four measures. We see that we start off the same. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. Doo doo. And there it's a little more of a doo doo, that swing I was talking about. Three, five, then back to doo 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 doo. Same so far. Then we have 16th notes here. It's two E and a, uh, nothing on the three, and four and one, and you pull off again. So let's just look at that third measure. It's three, three, two, zero, three, zero. Rest on the third beat, three, two, O. Oh. And here I like to pull that two to zero on the second beat, like. I think it gives it a little more swagger. So you'll see at the very end, a two, pull, zero, three. That's the start of the chorus. So we're gonna wait for that. Let's just go ahead and play up to that. One and two and three and four and one. Do, 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 do. So now we're in the chorus. You can play the chords exactly the same if you want to. The progression works exactly the same if you want to. Now we can make it a little more flashy and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But this totally works, okay? Now we can do something more chromatic and there's two ways to do this. One way is sounds like this. What I did there is it goes E minor, E flat minor, D minor, G7. So on the second beat, there's an E flat minor. 
And what I'm doing is I'm just taking my E minor and I'm thumb on the C string, index on the E, middle on the A, and I'm plucking it. And I'm going one, then I move everything down a fret, plucking it again, two, everything down a fret, three, then I make the G7, four. So it's one, two, three, four, boom. Okay, now, that kind of stops the flow of the groove. But if you strum down here all the way through, E flat minor with the G sounds really bad because we have an F sharp and a G in there together. So this is where this shape comes in handy. And this is the E minor that frets the fourth fret because then we can just strum all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. And the groove sounds like. So much better. Okay, now, that might be a little tricky. If you're new to this idea, try making a D minor with these three fingers. Ring finger, pinky, and your middle finger. And then work up the other way. So you can see like reverse osmosis kind of thing. That would help. I'm gonna play it like this. Feel free to play it the exact same way as the verse if that's where your level at, or feel free to do the, oops, the boom, 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 if that, if that is where your level at. Now, all right, let's put some lyrics to this. Not the best singer, but you're gonna learn the melody right after this, so you'll be able to perfect it. Here we go, one, two, three, just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Just the two of us, <laughs> just the two of us. Building castles in the sky, just the two of us, you and I. back into the verse. All right, let's take a look at the melody. Okay, so now we're into the melody of the chorus. We can check this out. Starts off on the and after the third beat of the chorus. So you go back to the, or the verse and you hear just the two of us. And that is one, two, three, and four, and. And this tuple zero just is a slur again. It's just the tuple zero three. And then on the first beat of the chorus, we start off on an A note, which is two. It's just the two of us. One and a open A, three, three. Two full beats of nothing. And then on the fourth beat over the B7, it's five, seven. We can make it if we try. We can make it if we try. Five, seven, next beat comes around. Five, seven, five, five, seven. And this try right here holds and then slides down to five, if you can get it. The sustain's kind of hard there. It's four and one E and two and a slide. If you can't, that's fine. I would just play it like. And whatever, if it gets in there, cool. If it doesn't, that's fine. And then on the fourth beat, it's two, three, over that G7, right? Just the two of us, two, three. C major seven comes back around, A note, three, three. Then the just the two of us, the girls in the background is A, G, A, G, E. Just the two of us, open A, Third fret, open A, three O. Then it's again just the, but it's way higher this time. Just the two of, just the two of us. Seven pull five, seven. So these four measures would be one, two, three, four.
Okay, and that was without those first two beats at the start. So that's probably why it started a little awkward right there. The last four, seven, five, five. Seventh on the A string, then fifth fret two times. Seven, five, five. Waits around, fourth beat, five, five. Seven, seven, five, five, five. Slide to two. Then we're on the fourth beat, it's two, oh, oh, three, three. And then that U N I, U N I, A G E, and the E note, our root note, resolves our chorus. So these four measures would be one, two, three, four. All right, so the whole chorus from the top. One, two, three, and. <laughs> All right, that sounds cool. And believe it or not, that is the entire song. there it is everybody that's the whole tutorial thank you so much for watching to the very end of this lesson i appreciate you learning with us this is a fun one like i said melody all the pieces everything you need to really master this song and i was happy to put it together and share it with you thank you so much keep on rocking and rolling we'll catch you next wednesday and saturday for ukulele baritone the first wednesday of the month monday guitars plus some other goodies right this really is a great channel if music education is your interest okay keep on rocking and rolling have a lovely day catch you next wednesday saturday monday or i'll just see you when i see you take care have a lovely day